In this video, I want to give a brief introduction to the significance of the elements in astrology. The four classical elements of fire, earth, air, and water are the energetic building blocks of the zodiac. They are also the energetic and metaphorical building blocks of our world. The literal ones, of course, are the 118 elements of the periodic table. But just because science has discovered the existence of the chemical elements, that doesn't render the classical ones obsolete. The chemical elements are purely material and suited to materialistic science. The classical elements, however, give us a window into the inner dimensions where soul, spirit, and matter meet. They make intuitive sense to everybody because they are archetypal. We can feel them at work in the world and in ourselves. Their imagery appears in our dreams and art. They basically have a mysterious power. The classical elements as we know them in the West were first systematically described by the pre-Socratic philosopher Empedocles and elaborated upon by later philosophers. But an understanding of the elements with variations and nuance has arisen in many indigenous cultures and esoteric traditions throughout the world. Some speak of a fifth element, ether, which is really transcendent of the other four. So for all intents and purposes, the four classical elements are a universal experience of humankind in its relation to the universe. We like to think that we've outgrown the classical elements, but our language often betrays just how deeply ingrained they are in our consciousness. Language relies upon conceptual metaphors, metaphors that are so basic to our experience that we don't even recognize them as metaphors. Many of our most basic conceptual metaphors are spatial. We say someone is in high or low spirits, or the cost of something is high or low, or that something is a big deal, for example. But many of our basic metaphors also relate to the experience of the four elements. Consider this sentence. It warmed his heart to see her face light up as he confessed his deep and enduring love. Light and warmth relate to fire and carry with them a sense of energy, enthusiasm, and well-being. Depth relates to water, the emotional element, and we often speak of emotions like love in terms of depth, um, while earth is the ultimate symbol of what endures. We experience uh, air metaphors when we say someone is cool and detached or likes to keep things light. It's hard to imagine the elements of the periodic table ever providing us with the same gifts. We would never say, her smile magnesiumed his spirits, or nobody's going to make an isotope out of me. There are notable exceptions, like he ruled with an iron fist, or uh, he's the salt of the earth. But these are really just higher resolution earth metaphors. We can develop a deeper relationship to the elements simply by paying attention to them. In doing so, we set up a resonance between our inner and our outer worlds. I love to contemplate the elements whenever I go camping. High in the mountains, each of the elements is more palpable and rarefied as if the contrast had been turned up. The hugeness and hardness of the granite cliffs, the thin, highly charged air, the cold lakes and streams, the forest fires and the campfires. The dance of the elements was made perfectly clear to me once as I looked at a twisted, partially burned pine clinging to the side of a cliff. The way the snow melt, eroding the granite, left enough of a crack in the rock for the tree to take root. The burn marks showing the evidence of the fire that sweeps through there periodically, and the evidence of the wind which had caused the tree to grow in such a gnarled fashion. We can also sense each of the elements in our own bodies, the earthiness of our calcium-based skeleton providing our basic structure, the water that makes up two-thirds of our mass and which carries the air that we breathe through our bodies in the form of blood, and the fire of our digestive process and our metabolism, which is a literal process of burning. So, this video was meant as a brief general introduction to the elements. Um, to, to what they are and to how, to, how to think about them. Um, in the following videos, I will discuss each of the elements separately as they pertain to astrology. So I'll see you next time.